Hello guys, this is Sam from Stockholm Metal Mania again at Jakob's Valley uh, with Fred among us guys. And uh, before I start this video, I would like to say something about the band that I'm interviewing right now. Uh, something uh, on uh, the internet. It says the most hard hitting Swedish thrash metal band you will ever find. Hits you in the face like a lemon rat sledgehammer with their precise and brutal but yet melodic tones thrash metal supremacy uh Car carnal force guys yep yeah it's really nice to see you guys thank you man and i'm really uh, excited like to have this interview we're gonna like ask a little bit questions not too much yes so something like maybe like make special of this video so uh, let's start with the question why fredax mangal uh, well, uh, we started like one year ago again with the band, released an album, and uh, we all we, we take all the opportunities to play that we can, uh, and why not here? It's, yeah. It seems like a fine club, and uh, it should it should be a lot of fun. I yeah, think. yeah, yeah. I mean, how pain. did you contact with the guys? Uh, it, it was actually the vocalist from One Hour Hell mm -hmm. that put put this together. He has called us and asked if we were interested in uh, doing some shows with them. Yeah. And uh, we said, sure, why not? Cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we and just want to play, you know. So. Yeah. So yeah. good. It is too fun to play. I really love playing live, actually. Yeah. And you came from Westeros. Yeah, we are, Ish, yeah. Uh, Ish. Pretty, pretty much. Yeah, uh, like our and yeah our bass player is from Westeros. Yeah. Our drummer is from Eskilstuna. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And we are from Sala. Sala? Yeah. yeah. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. So like it's like a multi-city uh, Swedish band. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's really cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, Carnal Forge. It's a song title actually uh, by Carcass. So can you tell me, uh, guys, a little bit about this? Like the story about the name of the band? Yeah, uh, it, it's pretty much that simple that, as you said, yeah. I always loved Carcass as a band, yeah. and uh, uh, when the Hard Work album came out. I think mm -hmm. it's the best album Car uh, Cork has ever done, yeah. and uh, I just love the song Carnal Forge. Right. So we were in the in the time to making a band, and I thought that why not take that cool na cool name? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, so it is a kick-ass name. So yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. why, why not? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's really... not, nothing deeper yeah. than that. We just love the song. Uh, yeah. Like well done, influenced by this great band. Carcass yes, as well. yes. And uh, I have also a special question that I used to ask all the bands I'm interviewing. And uh, the question is like, what do you think about the metal scene in Sweden or in Stockholm or in Sweden in general back and then uh, and now in the, in the prison? Oh, it's, I must say it uh, has evolved a lot. I mean, uh, back in the days it was kind of metal was kind of taboo i mean you listen yeah. to black metal at least where i come from yeah. there was, wasn't many people listening to it you know and uh, if you was dressed in black and with all the uh, skin clothes and all that kind of stuff you know you were the only guy pretty much so uh, but no it's mainstream pretty much and it, mm. there's so many good bands dude yeah. there's so there's many so good many, bands there's so many good bands yeah uh, like you can check like there's a lot of band and you have lack of places to play live and this is like really uh, sad to know about like in Sweden the land of metal I can say it's like like uh, not too much like they are closing places here in yeah. Stockholm if you have heard and yes stuff like this. yes so I heard really about that want, uh, what do you think about this as well <laughs> well uh, it, it's sad as you said it, yeah, it, it's yeah, sad yeah. when they close places for bands that pr pretty much if you look at the big picture mm -hmm. all, all the metal bands are more or less underground still yeah. and and uh, the only thing that you uh, that that you do is for more popular bands uh, will play pop or rock music and uh, it's always been like death metal flash metal and uh, these kind of bands always have to struggle some bit uh, and it's really sad to hear now that there are closing places where where these bands got an audience. Uh, I, I think, uh, but but I think in some way I think also that it's it it's, it's natural because mm. we have to have something new coming. Uh. Uh, and 
I, I, I think that we are going to find new places that play metal these days. Uh, and sometimes I think that people are uh, struggling to hold on to the old things. They, they what they know, mm. they want to keep it. Exactly. Yeah. But sometimes it can be better to evolve. Yeah. And uh, as, as Tommy said, uh, metal music has evolved to be me- being more mainstream. Yeah. Mm. So hopefully we, we can get more yeah. uh, bigger venues that take more people and uh, get more accepted. Uh, so in the same time. That is sad. I, I hope that is something good will come out of it. But in a sense, I mean, I have to. You're sad to it. Uh, I mean, internet has done a lot. I mean, you can spread your music much easier now than you could before. But the thing is, you want to connect with your audience. You want to play live. You want to be in the moment. Uh, and that's that's what it's all about. It's the best crowd. The metal has the best crowd ever. Hard rock metal. Uh, oh, oh, the heavy stuff that's and the best crowd guys, ever man you, you have toured as well like yeah. in the US Japan and Europe like I, I think you found the difference between the venues over there and yeah the yeah local yeah it's it's a big difference uh, metal is more accepted uh, and more welcome yeah and more welcome yeah. abroad than it, than it is in Sweden in Sweden it's a pretty small movement still but it's growing and growing and growing and hopefully we get to the point where metal bands in Sweden can be as big as in example, yeah. Japan, Germany exactly. and, and places like that because yeah. it, I think it's well deserved oh yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah. so like Donald Forge like uh, what is the future like the, the vision of Donald what are, what are your like, future plans I just Keep on trucking. Uh, we're, we're gonna. Uh, st- an album 2019. Yeah, yeah, and uh, there will be one more. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. 2020. So yeah, yeah. Plans are already made to yeah. make a new yep. album, and we will try to keep it going on as, oh, yeah. as long as we think it's fun and it's it's sustainable. Because uh, uh, as you get older, people get jobs, it's family. Yeah, so yeah. It, sometimes it's re- really hard to keep it going as much as you would want. But we will try to do yeah. our best, and as as long we think it's fun, oh yeah, we will keep on doing it. Oh, yeah, yeah. And this is the most important. Thing, yeah, like, that you enjoy. I really thank you guys for this conversation. Oh man, yeah, anytime. Yeah, and thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you yeah. very much, man. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>